Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Schroyer, and today I'm going to be reading you Hey Owl. If you will notice up in the top corner of this book, Hey Owl has a gold sticker on that. It says that Hey Owl was a Caldecott Award winner, and what that means is the illustrator was recognized for having great illustrations. This book is by Arthur Yorinks, and it's illustrated by Richard Igelski. That means Richard Igelski was the one that drew the pictures and made it a Caldecott Award winner. Now, this book is a 2.1, and I know that's lower than my third graders are reading, but that's okay. You could share this book with younger siblings, and you know what? I'm at home, and you're at school, and I'm going to give you permission to test on this book because the pictures are really pretty. The quiz number is 1174, and I will go back at the end of the story and tell you that quiz number again. I can already tell the illustrations are going to be really cool because I think even the outside cover of this book is really good. So the name of our story is Hey Al. Al, a nice man, a quiet man, a janitor lived in one room on the west side with his faithful dog, Eddie. They ate together. They worked together. They watched TV together. What could be bad? Plenty. Look at this dub, Eddie growled. We can't have a house, a little backyard to run around in for a change. Oh, sure, Al snapped. Today, it's a house you want. Tomorrow, who knows? Maybe the moon. The moon? The moon, Eddie howled. Pigeons live better than us. No, life wasn't easy for Al and Eddie. They were always working, always struggling. It was always something. One morning while Al was shaving, a voice called to him. Hey, Al, it said. Al turned and saw a bird. A large bird. Al, said the bird, are you working too hard, still struggling and going nowhere? Listen, have I got a place for you? No worries, no cares. It's terrific. Huh? Al said. He was confused. Al, 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 you need a change. Tomorrow come and be my guest. Eddie, too. You'll see. You'll love it. Then there was a few flaps, and the big bird was gone. You can't imagine that evening's conversation. Eddie was already packing. What? Just quit my job, Al said. There's more to life than mops and pails, Eddie insisted. But that's it. We're going. I don't want to hear another word. And at dawn, they were both in the bathroom. Waiting and waiting. What are they waiting on? They're waiting on that big bird to come back. The large bird appeared and Al and Eddie were ferried thousands of feet upward to an island in the sky. I hope you're realizing this book is fantasy. Big birds talking, big birds flying us to an island in the sky. Unbelievable. Lush trees, rolling hills, gorgeous grass, birds flitting to and fro, waterfalls cascading down into shimmering pools. Wow, would you look at this view, Eddie said. Wow, said Al. Look how beautiful. You seeing why this book won a Caldecott Award? Birds sang and brought them food. They ate, they drank, they swam, they sunbathed. They had never had it so good. So, Al, is this so terrible, the large bird asked. What a life, Al cooed. A guy could live like this forever. The days passed blissfully, and memories of their old life slowly faded. Al and Eddie decided this must be ecstasy. Big ripe fruit soon spoils. 
One morning I woke up and shrieked, Eddie, look at us, we're turning into birds. Indeed, their eyes looked a little beady and their noses were a bit beak-like. We gotta get out of here, he croaked, wings sprouted and tall feathers plumed. Take us back, take us back, Eddie quacked. I don't wanna be a bird. I'd rather mop floors, he honked, as they both flapped furiously and they rose into the air. Eddie, be careful, follow me. But Eddie, in a frenzy, was flying in circles, higher and higher. Exhausted, straining to stay aloft, he plunged into the open sea, and Eddie was gone. Al barely made it home into one piece. Alone, without his friend, he was heartbroken. But fortunately, Eddie was a talented swimmer. In no time, he found his way back to the west side. Eddie, Al cried. Oh, Al. Paradise lost is sometimes heaven found. So he decided he wanted to go back and maybe being a janitor wasn't so bad after all. Because Big Al sure didn't want to be a bird. So this book, the quiz number was 11174. I hope you enjoyed this Caldecott award winner, Hey Al.